For all your wrestling figure needs, check out ringsidecollectibles.com. Like wrestling? Tune into The Rack, Thursday nights at 11 p.m. Eastern on wildtalkradio.com. Hey guys, welcome to a special episode of Wrestling Figure Wednesday. We're going to do something a little different today to celebrate 100 episodes of Wrestling Figure Wednesday. Thank you for watching the show all this time and supporting it every week. Really appreciate it. Um, today I want to do something different and fun and show off a custom uh, Gangrel figure I had made by my friend Scott Garner. You may know him as Ren Rags Customs. Uh, like him on Facebook. I'll post information, all his customs and stuff uh, later in the review. But that being said, I want to show you guys this Gangrel I had him make for me. Uh, it's very simple custom actually, and it's a figure of one of my childhood favorites that I doubt we'll ever see an elite figure of. Maybe one day, I, I don't know. Um, but in the meantime, I really wanted him made. And uh, I finally have him in my collection since his really old figures back from the 90s, I think. Or early 2000s, I don't remember. Pretty old though. So that being said, let's take a look at him up close. As you can see here, this is the old uh, bone crunching action Gangrel head. I put some sunglasses on him. These are old Jack sunglasses, I guess. I don't know, um, but they're cool, works perfectly for me honestly. This is his old head from his old bone crunching figure, which if you don't know what those are, those were the old rubber figures that had like no articulation except you could move the arms and legs up and down and that's it. Um, but Scott was able to make him a ball jointed head. Um, I don't know if it turns left and right, I'm not going to force it since it is a custom. But you can see all the detail in his hair and stuff. I think Scott might have put some brown in his hair to make his hair look more realistic. Looks good, honestly. And Scott put on this uh, little cross necklace, which is like what Gangrel would wear. And then the shirt seen here is from Ralph's figure clothing. Uh, rest in peace to Ralph. He actually passed away shortly after. I ordered this from him, which is very sad news for us wrestling collectors as he's made some great attires for our figures over the years. This is my first time ever making, or I should say making a purchase with Ralph and having a custom made and I bought this Gangrel shirt. As you can see it has the ruffles and everything, so it's just really cool. Ralph did a great job, so thank you Ralph for all that you've done. This is a little tribute to you. Um, it velcros here, I'm not going to undo it, but um, he has his chest joint here, like all elites do, he has his ball jointed shoulders, swivel biceps, typical elbow joints, swivel wrist joints, and the joint that goes up and down as well, and I had Scott give him uh, black wrist tape, as well as paint his fingernails black, like uh, Gangrel had, so that's on both hands and wrists. This awesome. Then he has his swivel waist joint. The typical elite ball jointed legs that go outward, falls up and down. He has a swivel thigh joint. I'm not sure if mine move anymore because of the paint, so I'm not going to force it. Um, he's got his knee pads, typical double jointed knees. I'm not going to force any of the articulation just because uh, I'm not sure how the paint is with it. And then he has a swivel boot joints and the typical ankle joints, but mine have stiff ankles like all the current elites have. Um, but to make Gangrel, all you need is an Elite 23 Triple H for the body and a bone crunching action Gangrel for the head. Then you could add accessories like the Ralph's uh, shirt, you could add the necklace that Scott had, you could add the goblet that came with the old Titantron Live Gangrel figure, it's filled with blood really cool accessory to put with it since it's a signature part of Gangrel. And then just if you have some sunglasses put on them. And yeah, that's the Brood Gangrel. Awesome 
Awesome custom, thank you Scott for doing this for me. He looks great, I want to animate with him eventually. So you can look forward to that down the line, I'm sure. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching this special episode of Wrestling Figure Wednesday. Be sure to like Wrestling Figure Wednesday on Facebook to suggest future reviews you'd like to see me do. As well as like Ren Rags Customs to see all of Scott's great work and possibly buy from him. And also check out Ralph's Figure Clothing uh, to purchase awesome clothes for your figures that Mattel has not made. And you could get it for either Jax or Mattel figures, so it's really neat. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.